I'm sure I'm wrong. Did we, the United States, score a point in Greco in the Olympics? I hope you're wrong. See, I don't even know. What the were you doing at 20 years old? 20 years old? It was like crushing. And I had to be like, how do I run this like, clinic after? He uh, didn't die, dude. No, I know. <laughs> I know. Clint, that was the most craziest scramble that I've seen in a very, very long time. Yeah. So for that to go through no score, that's wrestling. Yeah. Like, wow. I, I mean, hate to say it, but Loki washed. Yeah, like, is he is he done? And, and he, like, looked the dude in the eyes as he said. See, that's, there. and this he guy, he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
But I think they have a whole ceremony for that too. Like they give up big checks. Yeah. Um, big but yeah, checks. she uh, she carried it I that can go way. For a big she, check. <laughs> she carried it that way. Um, who who is next up that day? All I can say is maybe I think was Greco going around the same day. I didn't too? watch. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Did not watch a single Greco match. Proudly did not watch a single Greco Man. match. I hate Greco. Uh, I'll tell you what the uh, I did watch some of Greco because that was going on during uh, the women's wrestling and yeah. that Mario how he uh, he was the undisputed wrestling goat of five straight Olympic gold medals. Oh, yeah, I did yeah, watch yeah. him the a Cuban. little bit. The Cuban, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. I mean, he currently now is going down as the greatest, um, you know, reign and greatest wrestler of all time based on how many years he's won the Olympics. Five, dude. So Olympic there's a, there's this guy in uh, like a judo guy. Okay. That is like the same build as that guy, okay. big, just yeah, big, yeah, yeah, yeah. towering, yeah. like yeah, black guy, yeah, huge, and he's won like the past. I don't know what it was. I might be wrong, but it was like the last three or four in- Olympics in judo. Okay, and like I want to see those two do something, do, do like something. a mixed That's rules. That's a great point. Thing. That's a great point. Have them uh, do like a combined match, maybe yeah. one judo, one wrestling. I watched the, it was the judo finals. Apparently, if you throw him straight to their back, yeah. like feet to back, yeah. it's just over. Really? And he took this short little Asian yeah. guy, just took his back and just like literally, oh, it was so cool. But that would be like them two in like a yeah, fixed yeah. match like yeah. that. It'd be so wow. Cool. I mean, uh, yeah, that, that's a great point. I didn't even watch judo. I didn't watch much of other Olympics. I'm going to be honest. Um, but that, that is something that maybe I want to kind of look into more judo. That's cool. Maybe you should do some judo. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll mess around with judo, huh? Is jiu-jitsu in the Olympics? No. Oh. No, it's not. Just uh, Craig Jones Invitational. <laughs> That's oh, what she got to work towards. for a million dollars. That's what she got to work towards. Um, other than, like, maybe let's just, let's just step, uh, stay with the women. So the, the other medalist is Sarah Hildebrand. And she, oh, she yeah, won the next cool. day. And, cool. you know, she's 30 now. This is not her first rodeo. Yep. You know, she got brought, it was like seven years straight. Wait, she's that old? Yeah, she's 30. So it was like seven years she straight of she, her meddling at Worlds, meddling in the Olympics, could never crack that gold. And this was like her year to do it. Um, and so I, th- I know that was really big for her and, uh, you know, United States as a whole, because we've never had two women Olympic gold medals in the same year. You know, Helen Morales was the first one back in, I th- was it 2016? And she was the first American woman to win an Olympic gold. And now it's like we got two in the same year. And those were the first two to start it off. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So basically the best start of USA wrestling like, that we could have asked for, right? I didn't know that, that Sarah Hildenbrandt was that old. Yeah. Yeah. She was that old. She is that old. She looks young. Yeah. <clears throat> and then... Uh, is that Riz? Continue. Continue. And then Helen Morales. Yep. So who knows, girl? Yeah. She, she trains over there. Um... She, that was she got sad. The yeah, it was a. Uh, she was getting molly whopped, wasn't she, in the semis? I, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't think it was necessarily. You had close. it on in your room, I thought. Did I? I? Yeah, I don't think it was close. Yeah, I thought she got beat up pretty bad, but she got bronze. Yeah, I mean nothing to complain about. Complain and then the Kennedy there. Blades. Kennedy Blades getting. She was in the finals too, and that one was. Uh, I didn't watch that finals. Match. She lost to Japan, girl, just like a lot of USA. Japan <laughs> is insane. Yeah, hold on. Before we touch on that, did you see her suplex like in the semifinals? Kennedy? Yes. Did you see like the pictures of like her suplex? It's literally like she logoed. I feel like I saw the picture, but I didn't see the video. Yeah, I didn't see the video either. I seen pictures from it, but she tossed her. She she's another one who's 20 years old. And I know that, you know, her um who did she she's in the same weight as Adeline Gray, right? And I don't think I believe so. I I okay. think I could be wrong, but um yeah, I don't I don't see these uh you know, even even Adeline Gray cracking a team unless there's more weight classes. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not sure how they do that, but um, it's just the young the young wrestlers that are taking cake. Yeah. Um, but that that was it for women's. Am I am I correct? It was just those so. four. Just those four. Um, yeah, and actually touching on Greco before we go into men's freestyle, I watched a video. I I forget uh, I forget his name, but I've, I've watched a lot of his videos and I follow him too. He's uh, it's like Z One Cub or Hub, and he made like a wrestling Olympic review video. Mm-hmm. He basically just clowning the Greco team. Like he was saying, do we even have like an American Greco team? And well, when was our last medal in Greco? Dennis Hall, was it? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Was that? And also, I feel like there's also like a weird culture of Greco wrestling in Greco wrestling because like. There's people like I think there was like there was a kid who beat me one year who all of his buddies too are still trying to flame me of losing to him in Greco. Well, who? Like literally, 
it was that it was Max Schiel. So it was like I you know, I beat him when I got like second in the semifinals, and then he he was the one who beat me the first match of the you know the past one I what wait, I wanted wait, to U twenty three U twenty threes in Greco, and it was like that it was like I was scoring points in neutral, but they put us down, so oh, like I can't defend yeah, yeah, for crap. Yeah. What did what are they saying? They, well, they keep saying like he's he's still, this one dude is still commenting on Muggsy's post like watch. Max Shiro clapped him. Watch that match. Max Shiro owns it. I'm like, bro, it's like, it's Fuck like Max Shiro. <laughs> no, I think, I think he's fine. I'm, I don't really care. Oh. But also it's just like, I felt like I, in the Greco community was like putting out a great, you know, great content that way and just be, bringing Greco more eyes. And now it's like, I don't even like want to, because it's like, it's, I don't feel like I get the, the niceness of other <laughs> styles. Like, I don't know. I just feel like that. And I just like, Whatever I don't I don't really care about it. Um, I, I told Caden last I week did. that um, the only way I could watch a Greco match is if it's him because I actually know who the dude is that's wrestling. Yeah, like it's, like I know like Kamal Bay, but it's right. like I just don't care enough to actually like watch. You know. Yeah, and two like, you know, I was thinking this, and I'm sure I'm wrong too. Like I'm sure I'm wrong, but did we the United States score a point in Greco in the Olympics? I hope you're wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't. I don't even see. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even know. I know a lot of our guys just had one match. Do we? I don't. I don't think we won a match. How many guys did we send? Three. We had Peyton, Peyton Jacobson. We had Kamal Bay. Um. Yeah. There was. There was. Three, there was a couple. Yeah. There was another guy for sure. Um. But man, I like it's so. I I can only imagine their frustration too, because you know they're not not training. Like right. they're they're still wrestling hard. Like this is like. And they go out there and don't like score a point. Like, how do you get good at Greco? Yeah, you just you have to have the bigger willpower and the better better here. Really, I mean, yeah. stay in the center. But uh, that's that's all I have to say on Greco. I mean, yeah, I'm over it. Over it that way. Um, you eliminated from the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that was a reason why it was like re- they wanted to take wrestling out of the Olympics because like Greco was so low. Because like, there hasn't been a match somebody cared about since Carolyn versus. Yeah, since Rulon Gardner. Rulon Gardner. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, but now with like, again, I think women's wrestling. I'm, I'm, I'm actually even a bigger fan of women's wrestling after. Yeah, after women's Olympics wrestling's now. actually. I'm giving it some more. I respect, was pretty low Dan. on it, but I've become pretty high on it the past yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, also there are a couple other things we can. I talked about Crosby with earlier, um, getting called out by a 13 year old, and I was like, but I'm saying it's like, wrestling is very stereotypical on certain things. And I just hope wrestling's in there for the right reasons, but uh, we'll, we'll uh, I'll digress. Yeah. Going into men's freestyle, this is what we're most hyped to see. Starting it off with the man, the myth, Spencer Lee. And I'll tell you what, I'm sure he was feeling a lot of pressure on himself because yeah. not only was he just like he doesn't feel like he necessarily accomplished anything. I believe he said in an interview like he wanted four national titles. That was one accomplishment. And he also wants to win, you know, a world gold, Olympic gold. Like, he just wants to win gold at everything. Yeah. And I feel like by him doing that and saying that, he's really setting himself up for the crazy high standard that also the media also recognizes. And that if, if he doesn't get anything other than gold, then it's like crap hits the fan and it's like the end of the world. This, I think this was a way, him losing this final, I think, like, I don't know. Two, like, two to two. It was criteria. He lost in the finals two to two. Right. Um, By Ray Higuchi. It's like this level of a loss is a lot different than the level of the loss he took in yes. college. Yes. Like this was in the Olympic finals. Yeah. yeah. And this <clears> isn't like best in the country anymore. This is this the is best a, in the, the world. This, the the world. dude he wrestled was in the past two yep. world championships. Yep. Yep. And, you know, even he posted on like a Snapchat, like a picture of a silver medal and said like silver effing sucks. Yeah. And I think he gave, I think uh, he gave it to like a family member or something. Cause it's a medal. Like, yeah. I, th- I believe so. Um, at least that's what I seen on media. But. Oh, fun fact. Those medals. I saw a picture of some dude. He like wore it out to like a party yeah. or something and had friends wearing it. And like a few days later he took a picture of it. It was a bronze, I think. Mm-hmm. And like the bronze was already like fading off of the Bro, medal. Come on. Like it's not even like <laughs> painted right. Yeah. Wait, actually, let's play this one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Chael Sonnen talked about Spencer on a uh, this little reel in like a TikTok account, kind of made an edit to it. But play, play the audio here. This is good stuff. This is gold. He's tough, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's not mentally weak, is he? No, he's not. He loves the 
sport of wrestling, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He represented his school and he represented his country and he did them both at the same time, didn't he? Yes, he did. He came through one side of the bracket that was loaded with studs to the point that RBY did not win a single match. And Spencer drew into the world champion. And with those ACL and with those knee issues that he's had, changing elevation and penetrating is difficult for him. He's got a good shot, but he relies on other things. And those other things just didn't present themselves. And eventually time ran out. And the score was 4 to 2. His opponent had the 4. But there's many times in life that you lose. There's only a few times where you don't lose, you just ran out of time. And Spencer Lee is completely forgiven. Whatever the grievance that our community had in Oklahoma City is forgiven, isn't it, guys? Back me up on this. Back me up. We forgive him. Yeah, that's that's fire. No, w, that was w fire edit, for w sure. Edit. Good um, audio. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, it's no. not copyrighted. Oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's one um, instance also when I was saying at the clinic, we play, we uh, we set up, literally, like I set up this MacBook and uh, had the Spencer Lee match playing. We were all getting hyped for it. And like, because I, I wanted to Spencer win more than I think, you know, anyone there. Mm-hmm. And it was just tough to really see like, like that's one, like I've known him. I've known him personally for like years now. And it's like for for you to know someone that's actually right there that, this is this means so much to them and it doesn't it was it was like crushing like you you're actually feeling like crushed um and that was like this and i had to be like how do i run this like clinic after like how do i get the energy back even for this and uh, he didn't die dude. no i know <laughs> i know it was still fine but i'm just like i'm just like man like oh you're right like right there like, can yeah. you imagine? Like, just like how the uh, the track and field it was like the difference of first and second. Yeah. So it's it's crazy, and um, someone's got to win and someone's got to lose. But. If he wrestled him an hour before, maybe he wins by six. Yeah. He's he not, wrestles not him an hour out. later, maybe he loses yeah. by eight. But I also, I think we do have to touch on fifty seven too. Like, if Michic oh, did if not Michich get hurt, hurt, yeah, and yeah. Michic beat Higuchi in the last World Finals, like the Michic Spencer Lee match. Oh, that would have been we'll so sad. We'll have to wait on that. We'll have to wait on that. But that was also, I was so sad. I to heard hear somebody that he was trying to say that Michi couldn't make weight, and that's why he pulled out. I obviously, mean, I don't know. Anything, I, yeah, but, I, yeah. Obviously, that is just a rumor, but I, I don't know. yeah, it's tough. I like that dude. Tough. And I think we were there training. Like that day, that yeah, vlog that we posted, popped. that's the day, the moment he actually hurt his knee. Wrestling Matt Ramos. Damn. Matt Ramos ruined Spencer Lee's four-time champ goal and Michichi's Olympic gold dream. Dude. Just kidding. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Um, moving up, 65. Zane Rutherford, bro. Man, dude. I think he's one guy. Didn't he win a world title this past year? Yes. Wait, he won a world title? But, however, however. Tell me. He hurt his head, I believe training again? leading into it really then they cleared him to wrestle and then he hurt his head again wrestling in the olympics bro that's tough and yeah i mean i don't know it's weird because he won world gold then he lost at the uh wait how did he win world gold yes this past then why year. was his weight not oh because it's a different weight dude oh wow he went down low. oh wow that does that man that plays a difference yeah, because his weight wasn't qualified. Because remember, he lost first yeah. round at the qualifier. I feel like this is also a weight that's you. It's so unpredictable, right? That is a weird like, weight. Dude, you didn't even have a. You didn't even have that Musakayev. Yeah, he didn't even medal. So yeah, and then there's Sebastian, Sebastian Vera. I, you see the clip of him. <laughs> yeah, what do I want after this? Or what, yeah. what are you gonna do after this? I hope I drink a bunch of beer. <laughs> 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 that's that's hilarious. And you know, Sebastian's another guy who hasn't like. He's never won an NCAA title, but look at him. I mean, he's he was getting... world silver last year. Yeah. yeah. Now he got Olympic and now bronze he's, Now he's got Olympic bronze. And I know he did have also knee injuries in college, too. Yeah. But that's really cool to see I mean, that. Dude, he beat Spencer Lee, two or, what, two or three times in college? That's such a great point. Such a great point. He just never won it. Such a great point. Um, but it's cool to see those guys that are still, you know. Where does he wrestle for? Uh, Puerto Rico. 
Yeah, he's Where a cool guy. Yeah. He seems like a cool yeah. guy. But that's that's another weight. Um, maybe maybe United States can send out a uh, <laughs> a sixty five kilogram rep looking in the looking in the uh, the camera here. But. Right. Uh, wait, wait. Before we go on, notice how the bottom two so far we've done two weights, both champs, Japan. Yeah, both both champs. Japan. Where is this coming from? <laughs> to Japan, I like. I know they have a lot of people, not as much as China, um, but. Japan, I don't know, man. I don't Dude, know. Dude, well, I saw a thing that Higuchi, um, Ray, Ray Higuchi <laughs> didn't make his his team, like the yeah, yeah. Japan team, then the following year won Worlds. No way. Yeah, so they must just be f- freaking loaded over there. Probably. Dude, wrestling is so dumb. That's his freaking practice partner. <laughs> yeah, and his practice partner is Katoro Yoka <laughs> with, the, with, the big, uh, with a big hair fro. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that, that's it for 65. 74, Dake's weight. The, was he the most highly favored wrestler in the entire Olympics to win gold? Not in the entire Olympics? I don't know. I don't know about he's that. He's close. You got to think he's close. And I know when he lost, he lost to the Japan guy that scored 20 points in him. There was a thing in like the past couple of years of the world championships, no one scored close to 20 points in him. And in one match, In one of the world championships, he gave up. Didn't he give up like one point? Yeah, something about that. It was one like, year he won it? Yeah, I think it was through three world titles. He only gave he up gave 12 s- points. It was 16 points, I think. 16 points. And in one match, in the semifinal match, he gave up 12. I mean, dude, that dude must have just been preparing directly for him. Because he had an answer for, for months. Yeah. Years. I mean, he was. He's, a, he's the guy. Like, he's a 74 guy. What, what does Burroughs do to this weight? Does he double his weight to gold? Nowadays, nothing. Doesn't medal. Man. Sadly. Like, I want to see. I want to see. Burris Dude, but like Kyle Dick's third place match. Did you watch that? Yeah, he suplexed him. Suplexed Final him at seconds. the end. He he was looking dialed. Yeah, that, that. dude was gassed. Oh yeah. I mean, he literally the guy took a bad shot with twenty seconds yeah. left. Yeah, it was kind of funny because uh, Dake like tied it. And then the dude was like really slow to go back to the middle, and Burroughs is on the commentary. Oh. And Burroughs was like, uh, "Oh yeah, he's he wants some uh, some cold spray, like, like oh. making fun of him." Like, oh. Like he's yeah, like faking an injury, yeah, yeah. but Burrow's on commentary for the, he actually I didn't mind it. Yeah, no, it was cool. It's cool to see him kind of especially do that. on like Kyle Dake's matches. Cause it's yeah, his way. that's his way. Eager to kind of see what he did. Yeah. Um, going up to eighty six. Heartbreaker. So heartbreaking. I think I, this was probably because I didn't get to watch yeah. Spencer's finals match live. Really? But I watched that yeah, one. Yeah, this live. one. I was sitting in my chair in the room. Crosby was behind me. Aaron Brooks about to make Olympic the finals. And he runs into Magomed Ramazanov from Bulgaria, a dopaminio athlete. Dopaminio. Brooks hangs on to the leg, hangs on, hangs on for too long. Literally last second. Dude, just, just elevate the leg, Aaron. Come on. Man, but you got to understand too, this guy wrecked Hassan Yazdani. Uh, Yazdani was hurt. Rook, okay, Brooks would have beat him then. Yeah. Brooks would have beat Hassan Brooks Yazdani Brooks would have him. I mean, you talk. You that talk was about so depressing, dude. Yeah, I was, dude, we were talking that their that no score scramble they had, Brooks yeah. and oh yeah, Megamed. Yeah. Yeah. That was like one of the craziest freestyle oh, scrambles I think I've ever seen. Totally, I think we need yeah, freaking insert that in a clip. That was the most craziest scramble that I've seen in a very very long time. Yeah. So kudos no to that. Score. That's yeah, no score for that to go through no score. That's wrestling. Yeah. Like wow, I would be I'd be so frustrated doing yeah. all that work to end up with nothing. Yeah, but. 86. That's 86 for you. 97. Second to last. This dude. The Ahmed Tazino, blah, 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 blah. From the dude who has Kyle Snyder's number. Mm -hmm. And I thought Kyle Snyder, in in an interview, someone asked, like, this is the same guy who texts Kyle Snyder, like, super quick. He's Mm -hmm. like, what are you going to do to this time? He's going to, like, well, I'm probably going to. You know, I'm probably gonna wait for him to shoot because he he couldn't shoot on my legs. He was kind of acting like uh like he's bad. Like there's no way he's losing that again. Mm-hmm. And for Snyder to not even medal at this year's Olympics, ah man, that uh, was that I, was. I remember waking up and seeing that. I'm like, oh, great start to my day. Low key, <laughs> low key washed, low key. I, I mean, hate to say it, but low key washed. Yeah, like is he is he done? Because this is his weight, ninety seven. He's getting up he's there. Old. Isn't he? He's old. He's got to be. I mean, yeah. he won what he. he oh wait, he won the twenty sixteen Olympics. Yeah, but he was like seventeen, wasn't he? No, no wait, 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 19, tw- 19. No, he was twenty. 
Are you sure? Yep, because Amita Lore is How the... How old is Kyle Schneider? Amita Lore is the youngest to do it. Um, 20. Oh, he's, dude, he's 28. Yes, yes. He's, he's, getting, he's getting there, too. That's um, not that old, though. No, it's not, especially if that Mario dude won at 41, but that's Greco. Um, but also, it's like, Freestyle these guys are so young, and they're going to stay there forever. Yeah. Like, they're going to be there past, you know, his time. Um, yeah, true. But who, who knows? Maybe it was a bad tournament. Maybe, you know, definitely. Heavyweight was. was funny as hell. Tell me, tell me. Well, Did I, you see Gino's yeah. celebration? The crown, crown me. And I mean, and he like looked the dude in the eyes as he said, See that? Bro. Yeah. And, Cause you know, that's the guy who did it to him like, yeah, yeah. in the world cha- championship. But he didn't do it like at him like that. Right. And this he guy, just, he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, I would be. Like, he can. That was just straight dude, taunting that's a super, him. That's, that is the main character moment. Yeah. The main character moment for Gino. Mason you gotta man. give him his flowers there. Mason um, Pears, dude. Yeah. He went one and out. Like, and was, oh. wasn't he wasn't he talked that he that he could do it that he was a favorite too at least he was not a favorite i know he wasn't a favorite on the betting things but united states guys were hyping him up like dude mason Paris could win like Paris can win dude Th- doesn't this make what gable did so much like yeah more gable impressive? is the he would have been the greatest wrestler of all time he would have been dude gable now, back. now he got a tackle on the Bring bills preseason gable ba- yeah you want to you want to say that uh, that stat? What it was like four years ago. Gable wins a uh, Olympic gold medal in the final seconds. Freaking amazing, America! Now four yeah, years yeah. Four, four years, years later, later he's, he records one tackle in the Bills preseason game. Yeah, but then my grandpa was saying, "Well, yeah, he, everyone was running away from him." <laughs> 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 but uh, man. You know, he, he's doing what he's doing. I know he uh, kind of didn't luck out because the WWE kind of screwed him. Yeah. Um, but Woody even came back. Woody even came back. Is it? But remember, dude, the, the clip, bro. You got to think. Can I do it again? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do, like, come, like, hearing it but from But that's when him, he was going to come back. For, that was a long time Hearing ago, it though. from that moment and being like, I'm getting chills thinking about it again. Like, but when in that clip, he was talking about coming back for 2023 Worlds. Right, but regardless. But it's still the same concept. Yeah. Same concept. <sighs> yeah, man, he's cool. It's uh, Gable, Gable, yeah. and and DT would have saved America if they were on our team this year. Yeah. But this is the first year in what was it forty or sixty years that we have not won a men's gold medal in wrestling. It was a long time. It was like I think sixty-eight years. So I ask you this 40? question: W Olympics or L Olympics? United States wrestling. L Olympics. We had zero gold medals and four total, of total the s- America. Total America. Okay. We got two women champs. Two w silvers. women's, W yep. women's, L men's Greco. I mean L Greco in general. Like Fine. the entire world, L Greco. Uh, I want we want Greco to win, but yeah. it's hard to like it. It's hard to like it. Yeah, and uh, or L men's freestyle. Two people didn't medal. Wait, three half our team didn't medal. Yeah, half the team, and zero gold. But then you got to think too, like we had two bronze and a silver. Yeah, you got to think too. It is a big deal. It's a bit like this comes around once every four freaking years. Yeah. Not, I mean, three years for this one. I mean, I'm not cutting any slack. It's still no. Yeah. I mean, kudos. I'm I'm so happy for the people that could medal and get you know accomplish at least somewhat of their goal. Um, man. You know what I think? L.A. L.A. is our... We were talking in the wrestling room last week before practice. I don't know if you were in there. Um, oh, you might have been. We were talking, instead of doing the four, um, instead of having two bronze, why not just add two more weights oh, yeah, and yeah, hand yeah. out the same amount of medals with one bronze? Right. What totally. is the point in doing these two bronze? Yeah, the two bronze, I'm not a fan of at all. I that that like whole repetrage repetra- and losing the semis, like, you get two third places? That's so stupid. Super stupid, and uh, that's that's a, it's that's all we have to say on that. Matt. Agreed. Um, Agreed. Hundred percent agree. I think if if we ran the if we ran it things if would change. we ran the Olympics things would change. But hey, you coming to the LA Olympics twenty twenty eight? I'll be competing there. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh. me too. Actually, that'd be exciting. Maybe uh, maybe maybe clash. They invite Clash to uh, bring people on, circle, c- c- circling the pod, circling the guests here at the Olympics. Um, 
But yeah, no, this is a. Uh, I do want to go. Um, I'll be there for sure, for sure. That that basically that that's gonna end the Olympic r- review for me. Anything else you want to touch on? Um, there was something. It'll come to you, bud. It'll come. Um, should we talk about the shoes? Maybe. Yeah, tomorrow? talk about it. Talk about it. They should be done. Yeah, they this should next, be. This next week, and it's going to take about a month to ship. 550 bear, pairs. Name drop. Drop the name. This. Wait, the model. The, the name model, of the model name. Of the shoe. The ones. They're called Adroit. The Adroit wrestling shoe. The, uh, the, the name Adroit. It might been, not mean much to you. It might not mean much to you, but let me tell you, it has been in uh, the vicinity of our lives for some time now. Yeah. And uh, I'm talking. Can I bring it back here? <laughs> bring it back. Take take me on a journey. Uh, way, way, way back. Caden changed his gamer tag on Xbox 360 to what? It, was it just a droid? Oh, a droid. Oh, a droid. And then I was like, dang, that's a, that's a cool name. I then proceeded to text Caden, hey, you care if I change my name to a droid? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, do it. Yeah. I proceeded to have all my friends change our names, and we started a gaming clan called Adroit. I was Adroit Eltrick. Yeah. Wow. It was wow. like electric, but yeah. like short. Eltrick. Right. Eltrick. We had a, we probably like eight people with the name Adroit. Damn. You were maybe, damn maybe near FaZe. Damn yeah. near FaZe. I mean, we were competing with FaZe for sure. We would have beat them in like a thing, in th- like whatever, you know, yeah. back in the day, like MW3. Day. Con- continue. And with the- moving on, high school. Me and Ken are like, hey, like, we, I don't even know how many f- subscribers, like, I was definitely under 3,000. I was probably at 40K. Were you that high? Uh, I once stayed at, like, six six seventy k Was this after you once stayed? No, before. Before. It was this before. might have been going into your senior year. Yeah, probably. That summer. Uh, so I probably had less than 5K subscribers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are going to start a clothing brand called Adroit Wrestling. Yeah. Because it mean, yeah. what does it mean? Slick and stealthy? No, it, no, quick and skillful. Quick, quick and, and skillful. skillful. So that, that, that was what brought me on um, to the name Adroit. It was like something quick, skillful. And we were, I was thinking about what is the name of the model of our shoe. And with being the zipper, it's the quickest shoe you can put on and yeah. take off in the world. And, you know, of course, just skillful. It's something that not only we are something that's proud of, too, and that we can wear, but for you guys, too, like, to be quick, skillful your matches, um, it's just something that uh, we hope also resonates with you, and it's a sick name. So yeah. It's a sick name. And then one thing about the shoes, I you posted that thing how, like, oh, look how fast I did this, and yeah. you zipped it up. Yeah. I saw a comment that said, those can't be tight. Yeah. They are f- they're fucking tight, all right? Dude, it's it's actually, like, I would also believe that, too, if I just watched. But I gave them to, like, so many people yeah. at the camp to try on and, like, try to, like, whatever. Dude. They're tight. Be- because you zipper it up, it's tight as it is. But then you put the, the strap over. You mm-hmm. can have that as tight as you want. And, and there like, are laces in there. But I, we take them out because yeah, we, we don't yeah. need them. Yeah. I've had more problems. They'll come with laces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, come with, they'll come with laces if you want in there. But I've had more shoes with laces come off and also untie. Yeah. Then I'll have the zipper yeah. shoe. Like the never zipper get, shoe never, never came a, off. Never give up a stall call again because your shoes aren't tied. Look at that. Quick and skillful, baby. Adroit wrestling there. But we're super excited about that. We're also the fo- the next order is put in of uh, some shoes. So we have maybe a Christmas sneak peek. <laughs> a little clash Christmas sneak peek. But uh, super exciting for this opportunity. So just thank you guys so much for sticking along also. It, this has been such 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 a uh, a fun but long process. And hopefully, you know, it's going to set in that it's going to be real. We're going to have an actual product that we can sell. And therefore... Hopefully that allows us to continue to do more of these because this takes up a lot of time and energy for us. So uh, by you guys watching and also just supporting us, that that's it. That's all we ask for. So uh, we really do appreciate it. That's all we got. That's all we got. Any last words for you? Where's, um, where's Rarin when we need him? I'm just letting y'all know I'll be a 2025 world champion at 79 kilograms. Yeah. No, for real. For real. All right. That's been the podcast. See you guys next up.